afternoon, I'm Faye Barker. Spanish police have called off a search for a British teenager who's been missing in Tenerife for almost two weeks. Jay Slater from Lancashire disappeared after a raid, telling a friend he was walking back to their accommodation. Despite the attempts of volunteers and the civil guard, detectives have now called off further searches, but the investigation remains open. On the election trail, Rishi Sunak says he still believes he will win, despite his party remaining behind Labour in the polls. The Prime Minister thought he'd still be in number 10, suggesting people are waking up to the danger of a government led by Sir Keir Starmer. Meanwhile, Labour's campaign coordinator says no one should assume anything about the outcome. The Reform Party is holding a rally in Birmingham today. Its leader, Nigel Farage, has again rejected suggestions that racism is tolerated among his supporters. In Scotland, the SNP have suggested their opposition to Labour should be a priority for voters. People in Scotland have a decision to make at this election. Do they want to send MPs down to Westminster who will sit quietly behind Keir Starmer? Or do they want to send MPs to Westminster who will stand up to Keir Starmer on austerity, on Brexit, on the cost of living crisis, and of course on big foreign policy issues like Gaza? And elsewhere, the Liberal Democrat leader, Sir Ed Davey, has been meeting swimmers at a Lido in Cheltenham. And inevitably, he didn't miss the opportunity to try the water slide. Voting is underway in France in a parliamentary election that could make history. President Emmanuel Macron called the snap poll three weeks ago after far-right party, the National Rally, won European elections. They're now well ahead in the polls. Most of the National Assembly seats won't be decided until a second vote next Sunday. England's footballers face Slovakia this afternoon for a place in the Euro 2024 quarterfinals. Gareth Southgate's side have faced heavy criticism after two successive draws, but captain Harry Kane believes supporters remain behind the team going into today's match. I think 99% of the fans are behind the team and the manager, I think, of course. Um, both as a player and as a coach, you're going to have times where people uh, voice their opinion and that's part and parcel of playing for England. And you can see the whole match here on ITV1 this afternoon. Coverage starts at 3.30. But that's it from us for now. We'll have more news on ITVX. More of us here. Bye-bye.